time he's pounded down, loading up and trucking. We gonna do what they say can be done. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Time he's bound to watch old bandits run. Well, good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning at 9:30 on December 31st. 2012. It is New Year's Eve and the last day. Oh, going off the train tracks. Last day of the year. Not a lot to do today. Just a couple deliveries. That's why I'm in the little cube truck. I'm in the old Mitsubishi. Uh, the other driver, uh, Herbie, he's in the Mitsubishi right behind me in the new one. You know, he came into work first, so he got to choose the trucks. But tell you the truth, I prefer this one. Yes, it's older. That's got more power. And it's a little higher than that one, so um, don't, don't tell him that. <laughs> this one's got more power, a little faster. <laughs> so, what are we doing today? Well, we got uh, six skids, to, well, five skids to deliver. Four out to the east end on Bombardier. So, we're heading there now. We're going to be taking the Metropolitan or the 40, the elevated highway. And then uh, we're going to be going up to Laval and delivering one crate, big ass wooden crate. Uh, there's supposed to be three cans at CN right now that need to be picked up, but right now we ain't got no place to put them because um, our warehouse is full. It's something that hasn't happened in a good month where we got no space to put in anything. Because no one's picking anything up and we got to just deliver it, everyone's closed. They say, oh, we need our stuff Monday, 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 Monday. But every place we call to um, make an appointment and say, hey, can we deliver today? They're not open. So what do you want us to do? They're not open. Oh, God. This truck is really bumpy because I'm sitting on the drive axle because it's, um, see, there's no hood. It's a cab over. Not bad, but we only put like eight skids in it. Um, but it bumpy as hell, but man, maneuverable. So anyway, uh, we'll see what's gonna happen uh, the rest of the day, and um, keep watching. Okay, here's what's going on now. I've done my two deliveries in the Mitsubishi. Um, not a lot of traffic today here in Montreal, which is not surprising. That it's New Year's Eve, is that following me? No, it's not. Okay. Considering that there's very little traffic, so I went to the East End and to Laval. It didn't take a lot of time. Now what I'm doing, I'm just gonna switch trailers, switch trucks. I'm gonna take that one, which is hooked up to the Kenworth, and return it. But I know what you're thinking. Well, if it's already hooked up, why not just take that one? Because, um, I'll show you why in just a second. I'll show you. Hey, here's why I'm switching trucks. Because you think, well, why not just take the big blue Kenworth instead of the day cab Freightliner? Well, that's why. I got tire chains on. I should bungee these. I got tire chains on this truck. And the reason why I got that is because... Um, with all the snow and everything, it's easier to uh, pull uh, pull trailers out with this truck with the chains on it because they got better traction. So I'm thinking, just leave the chains on. That axle there is not chained yet, but we got two more chains, uh, two more sets of chains in the warehouse, which I'll probably end up uh, doing a full chain up um, of this uh, truck probably on Wednesday. So I'm just going to use it to just pull trailers out and stuff like that because I got better traction and uh, just use the um, the Freightliner for doing deliveries and stuff. So uh, anyway, that's what uh, I'm doing. So uh, after uh, I return this to Ultra, that's it for the day. Short day. So uh, let's go to Ultra.
we are now on our way to Ultra. We are on our way to Ultra now to um, get rid of this final can. My windshield. There it is. You probably saw. There's something wrong with my windshield washer sprayer on the driver's side. Works fine on the passenger side, but on the driver's side, nothing. My reservoir is full, which is one thing I like about this freight liner. It holds two jugs. So the reservoir will hold two gallons of uh, windshield washer fluid, which I really like that. Especially in this type of weather when you're using it constantly. Um, I don't know what's wrong. It's um, The passenger side works fine, sprays perfectly, but yet the driver's side, not so much. I told my boss about it, he's like, yeah, we'll look at it. Yeah, I've heard that before. Oh, we'll fix it later, we'll get looked at later. Like, well, I'm gonna start complaining about it more because I just checked it myself and every, all the hoses are hooked up properly, everything's good. Um, Am I? There's one more thing I should try, but I don't know if I can, if I can do it. If I can take the sprayer head off it and see if that works, and it's the, something caught in the sprayer head. I don't even know if there's even windshield washer fluid going to it. Um, because it was working fine the other Well, it wasn't really working fine. It was working, but not as good as the pasture side. Then it just all right stopped. Anyway, I'll have to figure that out later. So right now we're on Ultra and um, keep watching. See my windshield washer is. Oh, see my windshield washer is not working properly. See that one's nice and clear. Let's get the washer going here. See that one sprays. It sprays nice. This one doesn't. And I have. And I have no idea why it does that. Anyway, I gotta pull up to the window here at Ultra to check in, and they're gonna take a look at my box. God, that sounds bad. They're gonna take a look at my container, and uh, we're gonna go home. Uh, but first, I'm gonna tinker around with that washer fluid nozzle again and try and see why it's not spraying. Watch it. Well, good evening, everybody. Just um, came back from where my wife works, and she's not done yet. Got to turn off the stair lights because don't need the stair lights on anymore. So uh, she's not done work yet. She's not gonna be done for a while. So just just throw my stuff in the closet there. Oh, I feel like Mr. Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So just gonna, she's working tonight, because everyone's going out to New Year's party and she works in a salon, so she's helping everyone get all gussied up. And um, so um, I'd like to thank everybody once again to, uh, I'd like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I'm uh, one short of 100 subscribers right now. I know I'm not there yet, maybe I'm counting my chickens before they hatch, but I'd really like to thank everyone so far who has subscribe to my channel and following my following my videos um, there's lots more to come um, so keep watching and uh, let's see how big I can make this uh, I'm not expecting to hit um, millions and millions of subscribers be nice but uh, let's see uh, how far we can take this and uh, just keep watching the videos and I'll keep making them because uh, I really enjoy doing this so uh, once again, thank you very, very much.